Oh, oh, okay, oops, I'm sorry about that. Um, what we're going to be looking at is triangle congruence now. This is our third lesson about triangles. And, well, if you remember, there's three ways to prove that triangles are congruent. If the three sides are congruent, you know they're congruent. If a side, then an angle, then a side are congruent, it's congruent. Angle, side, angle, blah, 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 blah. You guys get it. So we have five situations here, and I want to name what they are. Okay, let's start off with this being able to identify what kind of congruence these triangles have. Well, let's look at this. This triangle and have one side that's the same, two sides that are the same, and three sides that are the same. When they have three sides, we call this side, side, side congruence. Now the next part of this is naming these triangles, saying that they're congruent. And we don't do it randomly. Remember, we have to put them in the same order. So when I say that triangle ABC is congruent to another triangle, AB has to be in the same position as FE. So I have to go FE here, okay, and then D. So if you look, that makes sense. ABC is the same as FED. And what that applies, what am I implying by writing it that way, is that side AB is congruent to side FE, okay? And side BC, right here, is congruent to side ED. And that's true, right? BC is congruent to ED. And that also implies that AC, because they're on the outsides, look, AC is congruent to FD. So AC is congruent to FD. Okay. Let's look at the next situation. Well, what do we have here? We have uh, two sides that are congruent, right? I have these two sides. And in the middle of these two sides, I have this angle, right? In the middle of the two sides, I have an angle. So we call this side, angle, side congruence. And the angle is in between these two sides. So that's why it's side, angle, side. Now, when I name this triangle, remember it. It has to be done in a certain order. So A, B, C, say we have triangle A, B, C here, is congruent. Well, I can't say E, D, F because A, B and E, F have to be in the same position. So this has to be E, F, D. Oh, whoa, E, F, D. Don't copy all that. All right, hold on, let's, let's just erase some of this. It's getting a little out of hand here. Um, and that's basically all I'm going to say. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to say a little more on that. If you look also, so this also implies that angle A, I'm going to change it up. Instead of doing sides, let's say angles, is congruent, therefore, to angle E. And how do I know that? Well, two ways. One, we positioned it in the same place. So angle A has to be congruent to angle E the way I wrote it. And sure enough, we wrote that correctly. Angle B, therefore, has to be congruent to angle F, because B and F are both in the same position. And the same thing goes for C and D. So angle C is congruent to angle D. We could also say that for the sides, but you guys get the point. Let's go to the next example. This one, oh, let's get black this time. We have an angle. We have two angles on both of these are the same. See, I have two angles. And in the middle of these two angles, there's a side that's congruent. You see, I have an angle, an angle, and then a side in the middle. So I would say that this is angle, side, angle, right? And the side is in the middle of the two angles, just like it is here. Now, once again, we're going to say the triangle ABC is congruent to F E D, same order. F E D. Oh, my phone. All right, I got that taken care of. Now let's look at this last one over here. Oh, second to last. If you look over here, I have two angles, right? They're right next to each other. And then on the side, I have a side. So I have two angles that are the same, and then a side. So what do you think we call this? That's right, angle, angle, side. And so if I were going to say that these two triangles are congruent, it would be A, B, C. Actually, you know, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's call this one A, C, D. Okay? 
So if this is ACD, well, I have to go in the same order. So if A to C to B, sorry, I meant B, then this one has to go in the same order. So it's D to F to E. So this is congruent to triangle D, F, E. All right? And I want you guys to fill out your congruent statements here, either for the sides or angles. For example, either angle A is congruent to angle D. We know that because we put them in the same position. Or you could start it by saying the sides are the same. A, C is congruent to D, F. All right? D, F. Choose sides or angles. This last one is called HL. All right? And that's when just when you have a right triangle. If you have a right triangle and you have one leg and the hypotenuse is the same. So it's a right triangle and you have a hypotenuse and then a leg that's the same. So this is my hypotenuse, this is my leg. So we could say that these two are the same. Hypotenuse leg. All right, let's look, look at two regions problems. First one's pretty straightforward. If angle JKL, I mean triangle JKL, is congruent to triangle MNO, which statement's already true? Well, we know that these have to be in the same order. So I'm just going to look at the sides first. Do we know that JK, let's get a little different color up in here, okay? Do we know that JK is congruent to ON? Well, if we look at this right here, oh, sorry. If we look at JK, JK has to be congruent to MN, right? JK has to be congruent to MN because these are what's in the same positions. All right, so JK is not congruent to ON. It's in a different position there. Is JL congruent to MO? Well, let's look at J and L. So J, we got J on the outside and L on the outside, and we got M on the outside and O on the outside. And sure enough, because those are in the same position here, I know that this is actually true. The other two you could check, you'll see that they are also wrong. K, J, L is not in the same order as M, O, N. And K, L, J is not in the same order as N, O, M. Okay. Now the next one. These, these are the ones that are a little tricky. These we have to do a little marking. So we want to find out which way these are congruent. They give us a lot of information. So what we're going to do is called marking, okay? So we know that AB is congruent to DE. Let's mark those, okay? We got ourselves aside. And we know that angle A is congruent to angle D. Now you have to mark when you're doing this, okay? And then finally, angle B is congruent to angle E, all right? So I have this situation going on. And now we just have to name it, right? So I'm just going to use some different colors here to mark. So that's my side. Now what do we have here? We have two angles and a side in the middle. So if you look carefully here, all you have to say is that it's either angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle, right? But since you have an angle, then a side, then an angle, it's very clearly angle, side, angle, because the side is in the middle of your two congruent angles. All right, guys, the rest are on for you. Good luck.